Yeah, hello everyone. This is Hussam, and actually it's my pleasure to present you about the uh, computer network devices, the first part. Uh, we will uh, discuss these devices, CSU, DSU, modem, hub, prebeater, bridge, switch, and router. So let's go. CSU DSU stands for Channel Surface Unit and Data Surface Unit. CSU DSU is a pair of the communication devices that converts the local area network data frames into the size of wide area network data frames. CSU terminates the link at the customer's premises. It connects the terminal with the digital line. DSU performs the actual transmission and receives the signals. A modem is a communication device that is used to provide the connectivity with the internet. Modem works in two ways, modulation and demodulation. It converts the digital data into the analog and the analog data to the digital data. The central connecting device in a computer network is known as a hub. There are two types of a hub, active hub and passive hub. Every computer is directly connected with the hub. When data packets arrive at hub, it broadcast them to all the local area network cards in a network and the distant recipient picks them and all other computers discard the data packets. Hub has 5, 8, 16 and more ports and one port is known as an or uplink port which is used to connect with the next hub. A repeater is a communication device that retransmits the weak signals with greater power. It receives the signals over the wireless, optical transmission and network cable medium such as Cooper wire. UTB, STB, and fiber optic cables and regenerates the analog or digital signals. It can relay the data signals between the different subnetworks. Repeater operates at the physical layer of the Aussie layer model and it is not such as intelligent device like the switches and routers that perform the smart routing based on the MAC and IP addresses of the source and destination computers. A bridge is a network communication device that is used to connect one segment of the network with another that uses the same protocol. It operates as the data link layer of the OZ layer model. A bridge processes the information at the data link layer of the OZ layer model. Here are two types of the bridging, transparent bridging and source route bridging. The main advantages of the bridges included the following. Inexpensive, self-configurating, reducing size of the collision domains, transmits the data based on the MAC addresses and supports relatively big networks. Bridges are fast devices for forwarding the data but not as fast as the routers and switches. The switch is like the router. A switch is an intelligent device that maps the IP address with the MAC address of the local area network card. Unlike the hubs, a switch doesn't broadcast the data to all the computers 
it sends the data packets only to the distant computer switches are used in the local area network and wide area network in an ether network computers are directly connected with the switch they are twisted their cables in a network switches use the three methods to transmit the data for example store and forward cut through and fragment free a router is a communication device that is used to connect two logically and physically different networks two local area networks two wide area networks and a local uh, area network with a wide area network the main function of the router is to sorting and the distribution of the data packets to their destinations based on the IP addresses router provides the connectivity between the enterprise businesses internet service providers and in the internet infrastructure router is a main device Cisco routers are widely used in the world every router has routing software which is known as iOS router operates at the network layer of the Aussie model and the router doesn't broadcast the data that is